Hmm. In today's episode, we're sculpting this, which means we're carving this into this. We'll show you how we do it, work some mad detailing magic, recap our sculpture, and dazzle you with breathtaking cinematics. Looking for top five entertainment for the next 40 minutes? Then park it right here and stick around. Hey, hey, good morning, good day, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, City Sculptor, and you have made your way back to Pangasus Bay. Hey, it's great to have you here back in the bay. And of course, another beautiful day in the bay. Eh, there's a little bit of cloud cover, but not too bad. Say, we're looking across our last build, which was Minister Stead, on into today's build. And that's this area up in here called Island View Park. And as you recall, this is part of our you know, Consular District mini-series. And today we're going to be focusing in this area down in here. I think I described it in one of my you know preview episodes that this is going to be an island that's going to be sort of reflective of what's going on down here in the South Pass Isle in this space here. We're going to do something that's complementary over in this space. And I'm calling it a mixed-use district because we're going to see some mixes of residential, some commercial, some offices, maybe a nice walking, you know, kind of a walking promenade down here along this canal. We'll, we'll put something in there. And, uh, you know, I'll probably have a few other little tricks up my sleeve. You know, I think this is going to be a really nice complement to what's going on over here on the aisle and then this build up from, you know, from Minister's Stead over here into some more height into this space here. All right. Well, I just threw a lot at you guys, so with all that as a backdrop, let's do this. All right, so the first thing we're gonna need to do is kind of define some space in here. Uh, we've got just just a couple of you know T intersections here, a little road network going through here. So why don't you guys sit tight? I'm gonna I'm gonna put in a road network to support this space. I'm gonna borrow from my downtown area before I dive in real quick. Like I want to just do this this whole. Let's see, let's bring this out 120, and then let's see here. That's gonna come out ah, from here 200. You might recall in our downtown episodes, we built a grid pattern that was 120 by 200. And I wanna bring that into this space as well. So we're gonna do that here. And then let me just zip through a couple of roads quick and, uh, and we'll get on our way. All right, sit tight. Yeah, so that's the way we want the frame to start up here. And I left this intentionally blank here because now we're going to have to do the hard job of building in this waterfront, you know, this kind of waterfront pedestrian road, replicating something along that line over here. Now, I, I think what I'll do is I'll use the same techniques that I used last uh, last time we built out South Pass Isle. And I'm just going to grab this elevation. Let's see here. Let's grab the one that's across the way. Uh, decrease my brush size to about 60. Grab this. Bring that over here and... Uh, it looks like it's already about the same height. That's good. So let's uh, let's come out here. Uh, something like this. Maybe I should pause the game quick. And then I can come back in with a small brush. Yeah, that's about a 30 or so. And then I'm going to pick an elevation that's a lot lower. Let's, let's pick one that's below sea level, somewhere right around there. And then draw a line that just kind of runs right out like so. Yeah, something like that. And that'll be the cornerstone of our wall there, kind of the anchor piece, if you will, of our of our wall. And we'll use a pedestrian road in this space. I just want to come back in here and go up by, I think it's 2.5 meters, and that can start the, uh, the key wall mechanic. And you can see that that has filled in nicely there already. That's good. We're going to bring that out so it's about roughly e equal to this road here. I want to try and get my elevation down so it's almost exactly flat that's good and then let's just put this into a uh, kind of a continuous curve mode here if i can just come out here and thread this out i'm going to turn this back off now some of these snaps i just want to want to be a little loosey-goosey with it yeah something like that then i can bend this out coming out into this space here i want to make sure that i um, snap into this corner if I can, but I don't want it to go up so high. So let's uh, let's just kind of come out nice and neat down to about a plus one. Yeah, and then we can connect into this. Yeah, that should be good. And that'll be our, our waterfront, if you will. I can then come back in here and fill this in as well. Uh, we've got one waterfront that comes up there. I think what I'd like to see happen is We'll leave this space here for a little odd shaped park. Yeah, that could be kind of cool. 
All right, so let's um, let's now come back in here and connect these roads. I want to connect this one just in a straight line. We're going to come right out of here. And oh, before I do that, I better take my terrain and bring that back up so I don't damage this little waterfront road. Just bring this straight out. Run it right straight. There we go. If I do that, and then I come back here and cut that, I've got it intersecting there, and that's just fine. Uh, this road actually could be just a regular automobile road. In fact, let's do that. Let's see if we can upgrade that without turning it into... Let's see, can we protect that 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 key wall there? I think we can. Hmm. Yeah, I like it there, perhaps. So, uh, turn off all my snaps. Just kind of gently nudge that into place there. Yeah, okay. And now let's bend that into there if we can. So let's just grab a curve. What does that look like? Well, it's a little it's a little weird, but it's probably not bad. I think right by this bridge, it's okay that we're gonna have like a little piece of land maybe in this space. So, all right, let's get to the work of peeling back our our waterfront here and uh, revealing what we've got. Yeah, there you go, we did it. We created a nice little canal back in here now. And uh, I think we're I think we're off to a good start. So the first thing I want to do is drop in here and put in some parking in this space. I want to make sure that I do that before I start thinking about where all the other buildings go. And I think a good spot maybe to put some parking right up above this big couplet road here. Let's uh, let's come in with our terraform, uh, terraform tools. Let's level this terrain right in here and try and create nice a nice little embankment up here. And I think we'll be able to come in with some uh, some medium sized parking lots maybe or something like that. Let's go. Medium parking lot. Does that fit in there? Yeah, yeah, it does. And maybe we'll just drop in a pair of those. Yeah, it sits up there and I can come in here and maybe drop in a little faux retaining wall down along here. Some bushes and shrubs. Plenty of parking and then maybe there's a big nice commercial anchor store there. And then, oh, let's come up over here too and let's drop in like one of those big underground parking facilities. I kind of like those uh, just because they're not really an eyesore. They really pack a lot of cars into them, and it can really serve this whole area down in through here. So that's a nice welcome addition in that space. We've got parking in place. So the next thing I want to do is I actually want to come in here and, and create our district. Uh, you can see the promenade is over here, and I want to use my district creation tool. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to take these lines and just pull those back ever so slightly so that we leave ourselves some room in here, and let's just paint out Island View Park. So we'll start here, make our way down along. Yeah, sure. Let's let's not go all the way to the edge there. There we go. Keep it out in the middle. Stop snapping. There we go. There, there we go. Okay, okay. Ooh, I gotta trim that piece of road off over there too. There. Now let's name this Island View Park. pick a couple of random services. What do you think? Uh, let's see here. Energy consumption awareness? Yeah. Recycling? Sure. Oh yeah. Roadside parking fee? For sure. We want to discourage roadside parking with all these nice parking garages in here. We'll charge we'll, we'll charge handsomely for those parking uh, privileges in this space. Oh yeah. Let's let's cut this little piece off right here. And then I can probably come in here. Yeah, like Let's get rid of these, these stop lights too. Let's do that real quick. Like. Yeah. There you go. All right, Island View Park, on to the next part. So let's do this. I wanna take a similar build approach that I took in the downtown area where I'm just gonna go block by block by block by block just to kind of build things out. I wanna have kind of a bit of a method to my madness here and I have an idea of how I want it to look and feel as I get completed. So let's start up in this little, I don't know, odd shaped space up here. Uh, uh, the road looks a little funky here. Let's, let's kind of redo that a little bit. We're just gonna bend this out to I don't know, maybe 28 meters. And then let's come out with a little straight piece. Maybe to about there. And we'll drop the roundabout in on top of it again. Yeah, I think that looks better. That looks looks like it's a little bit more centered and straight. Anyhow, so let's then grab our park pathways here. And we're going to turn off all of our snaps. And I'm going to claim up all the build squares around that roundabout. So we'll come down here. And so we'll do the same thing coming across here. Yeah, and then what that leaves me with, oh, let's get rid of that. 
What that leaves me with is a bunch of nice little spots here where I can build offices. And I'm thinking about coming into this space. I think two by two is a configuration or two by four. So let's go two by four in there, two by four. Do that all the way around. Maybe to here where we're gonna have to go two by two, two by two. We could drop in another two by four in there. And another two by two there. And then we'll probably need, as you can see, you've exhausted your office demand down here a little bit. So we'll need to wait a little while for that to catch up. If three by three is a configuration, that would be nice too. Let's drop in a little parking right down along this corner, maybe a small parking lot. Does that fit in right, say here? Eh, it doesn't quite fit there, but, uh, or or maybe right there. That's, that'd be better since it's right along the main couplet road. Okay, yeah, so that, that takes care of that little notch back there. Cool, I like the way that that's gonna shape up. And yes, we got other buildings painted in there, so we're in good shape. Let's move on over to our next little square right here. Now here's where I wanna introduce some low density commercial kind of down in this little space here. And if I bring up my low density commercial zones here, I'm gonna bring on both European and North American. And I think what I'd like to see is, you know, maybe just some two by type buildings coming in here. If I if I take a European style low density two by, I don't know, let's, should we make it two by five? Can we do that? Yeah, we can. Let's try North American on the corner, although it'll probably give me like stuff facing the other street. No, it worked, okay. And then we're just going to alternate here a little bit. One of these, one of these, one of these, and just kind of give it a little bit of a, a little bit of a pattern here. Let's let's see if I can force a two by five in there. There it goes. Okay. And then let's come back to this one, and we'll do another one here. And I think, you know, that's probably going to be good. Maybe maybe one one more. Maybe just one more. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Okay. So I've got some commercial that's kind of starting to tuck into that square there. And the next thing I want to do is I want to grab some medium density EU 4x4 residential and just put that up along this street here. So I have in my mind that this is going to be kind of some elegant homes, kind of high, you know, medium density homes here overlooking what is going to be ultimately um, this space over here, which is the old Northeast. So let's drag in some EU style. Let's turn this off. Medium density housing. I'm going to start right with this corner here, maybe do some 4x4s. Yeah, like that. And a whole row of them might be really kind of cool. There. Now I'll have some nice, big, medium density homes running up against Hillside Street here. I think that'll that'll really offer a kind of a nice definition between these two neighborhoods, I think. And then we come back with the North American style medium density and drop that in, say right here, maybe a big five by five there. Yeah, and then will another one fit there? It does, and that leaves me a little space here to get some walking access between the two. And then I thought this little space in here could be a nice little meandering walking gardens in here. Uh, you know, and I don't know if we can drop in a pedestrian road or if I even want to. Would that, yeah, it, I guess it would cut through there, wouldn't it? It would work just fine. Hopefully it won't destroy my build square. So let's just see how that plays out. In fact, I might even want to drag that into here. Ah, we'll just we'll just go to here for right now and see what that looks like. Yeah, it, it actually is nice. Then it becomes a nice little walking boulevard through here. And that's the one theme I want to keep in the areas. I want to have nice walking access. Very nice. All right, should we focus on this square next? All right, I like it. Now, in this space, I want to drop in some low density commercial kind of in this area here. Those, those little stores here that would work opposite of this. Uh, and to do so, I think I'd like to start with like a little alleyway. In fact, maybe I'll grab an alleyway and I'll run it exactly opposite of that little notch that's going in there and just come down uh actually you know what we could do is we can drive this all the way down to the end if we wanted and maybe i won't connect it though just um i don't know maybe i'll come down to heat uh, let's go to here actually and then that that should work just fine we'll drop in some more of those kind of smaller commercial shops right down in this corner here so let's do this let's go let's go uh north american style on the corner here yeah and then we'll go european style in behind it or next to it Maybe I'll do two of those in a row and then come back with North American after after the end. Kind of the bookends, if you will. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll see this little space down here. This could be kind of more of a corner shop. So if I dropped in, and let's do North American style and do, what is that, four by four? Yeah, I think that could look kind of neat. And then I want to come back in, um, you know, kind of in behind here and drop in some European style residential 
Um, but let's do this. Let's do high density. Let's go, first of all, European. I want to do high density, but I don't want them to make them really big. So I think I'd like to do a series of three by three. So maybe I'll leave a little two by two square there and I'll come in with a three by three there. I'll leave a little two by three square and I'll come in with a three by three there. And then what does that do to me here? Can I do, can I do one, two, and then one, two, and then have a gap? I could do that. Or let's do this. Erase, erase, erase. Come back in here. We're going to leave this square in here. So we're going to, we're going to have a one gap there. And then I'll have a one gap there. And then if I come in with a one gap there, there we go. Now we'll have nice, neat three, three by three buildings all lined up in a row. Okay, now's where the fun part comes in. Let's do a high density European style tower right in here, right across from the big parking complex. And again, I want to set this back from this corner here so I can maybe put a little decorative plaza out in front of it. But I do want it to be a big one, two, three, four, five. Is that six? That's six. Okay, so let's go five and let's do this. And will that give me the space to create a five by five tower in here? One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, I could even move it over one. Five, two, three, four, five. Boom. And that'll be a nice tall presence in that space. And I can have a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a yard or gardens, if you will, kind of surrounding it, maybe a little concrete and park effect going on there. And then we can drop in some, you know, maybe I'll paint in some smaller low density offices back in here. Uh, let's just set it back so that it is, can I do two by six? I don't know what the config is for an office. And do two by six. Well, we don't have a demand right now, but let's do just just drop in those as placeholders, and hopefully they'll fill in as the demand increases. Okay, so that's that block. Ooh, you can see those are starting to fill in. I'm gonna like that. Nice, nice. All right, let's turn our attention to this guy right over here. This one's probably gonna be a little trickier. I'd like to ultimately see maybe some row homes that come along Fawn Street there, and then a medium density North American in there. Maybe some additional commercial shops up in here. So let's start with that. Maybe we're going to do a uh, kind of a main, uh, grab a North American, kind of a, an anchor store commercial shop in here. Let's try a four by four. Let's see what that looks like. Or maybe even a five by five. Can we do what, a big one like that? Yeah, we can. Cool. Nice big anchor store right there on the corner. And then, uh, you know, in this space here is where I want to do those rows. So let's do this. Let's come back in here with a little, little pathing way just to secure some things up yeah and that can be we can leave that that could be like a little funky shaped decorative park down in there yeah that's a good idea so let's go again i love the european style row uh let's do that eu row homes maybe we'll go four deep in here let's just let's just run with that and see what that see what that results did i pick the wrong one i picked the wrong one yeah there we go and then what that's going to do is it's going to front up this little this little waterfront street here. It'll be your first kind of exposure, if you will, to this neighborhood. And eventually it'll take you down the down the path to this little walking problem. Oh, wow, that's going to be really cool. I like that. Oh, nice. And then what do we do with the rest of this corner down here? Let's do um, let's do a North American style medium density, like a big one, five by five. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, oh, yeah. Can you do a six by six? I don't even know that you can. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can't. I don't think you can. So let's do this. Let's come back in here. We're gonna we're gonna make that a five by five. I think you can do a five by five. Oh yes, you can. Look at that. Okay, so that looks really sharp in there. This is a little bit open, although this could give us the opportunity to take that that pedestrian road. Just drive that straight out like so. Let's make sure that we got these turned off. And I can have it kind of T right there into some walking paths that frame this up and cut through here. Maybe a little gardens in here to give these row homes some separation between these, these larger buildings here. Yeah, okay, cool. Now we can tidy that up there in the beautification time lapse. I think I'd like to, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. All right, so now we've got this nice big kind of odd shaped waterfront uh, piece down here. So how do we want to tackle that? 
So one of the things I want to do is I want to come in here with some mixed use buildings. And I think that would be really a nice look down along the shore. And I would do that with the European style mixed use, kind of to replicate what's going on you know, across the channel there. Gosh, that's a really neat look, isn't it? All right, so let's take a, uh, let's just take a pathway here. I want to secure up these build squares from here all the way down to, well, we're just going to have to put this right about there for now. And then I can come in with a uh, European style mixed use and let's go, uh, let's go four by five. Let's just see how that, or yeah, let's just see how that works. Uh, oh, okay. It's, it's trying to, it's trying to take that square there. Oh, look at that. Now I can have corner access. Nice. Okay. And then let's take a, let's go three by five here. Oh, it's three by four. Let me, let me see if this would work. If I took this and made it by six, would it, oh, it does. Look at that. Okay, cool. So let's do this. Let's make this six deep. Will it do three by six? No, it'll do three by five, but I'm okay with that. I think that'll have a good look too. Three by five. And then if I come down here and do four by six, ooh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's going to really look neat. Ah, okay, cool, cool. All right, so then where can we go from here? This should probably be another string of some low density, you know, commercial shops that kind of ease around this corner here just a little bit. So let's do that. Let's get, uh, yeah, let's just grab commercial and we can grab both kinds here. Just a little, let's see, what did we say? Two by fours and two by twos. So let's go two by four. And then yeah, I'm going to keep them all European, I think. Let's try that. Two by four. Although here's the problem. Some of these you know, kind of populate in with parking spaces. And I, I don't want any parking spaces in this space, but I will just kind of, we'll kind of have to, we'll have to manicure that as it comes. And then let's do this. Let's take a path here. Can I cut this off? Yeah. Then I can make a little, I can make a little two by two right in there and maybe a two by three there. We have some waterfront shops here along this walking district, district along with these uh, mixed use buildings in back behind it. Ah, I think that'll look cool. Now let's take in this space and put in some, uh, well, before I do that, I want to build another tower. Ooh, look at how big this one got. I want to build another tower that's kind of reminiscent of what's going on over here. I want to put that right into this little, this little alcove right here. And I think the best way to do that is to do a big five by five North American style residential. So uh, let's go North American high density housing. I want to set it back if I can. No, well, maybe. Let's just see. If I take this road and we just come out to here and then I'll run an alley out from here down. Turn off the grids now. What does that give me? Now I come back in here with some pathing. Five by five is what I'm shooting for. So let's do this. Let's come down here, trim these pieces off. What do I have? Yeah, I want five by five, but I want it to be all the way down here on the end. There, ooh, one, two, three, four, five. Just, just about, just about. So let's keep massaging it. Okay, we're gonna go there. Now we can put a big five by five tower down here at the end. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, I don't even have to go all the way down. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, or five. And then I want to pause the game real quick, like redraw that road down. Just so it comes down to there. And I should still have all of those build squares captured. Restart the game. Yes. And you can see this is going to be a, a very well, towering presence, if you will. No, oh, did that not capture that? Oh, I see. I have to rezone it. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that'll be a nice standout tower there. Now, you may be asking, what am I thinking about down here in Sheffield Street? And I thought this might be a good spot for us to just cap it off with some row homes again. So, uh, if I can figure out a way to kind of sneak a path down through here, have it connect to there without destroying all my build squares, and maybe have another one wrap around the back side of this building here. Let's turn snap to the sides of building on. Just run you straight out like so. 
Yeah, that'll be fine. And then I can take this out and bring in some more European style row. No, in fact, let's do let's do North American style row because it's kind of up against this this grungy parking lot here. And we'll just do a small ones here, maybe uh, you know, just a series of two buys all the way down, maybe to here, and then we can leave a little odd shaped space down here for just a little green space. Yeah. Okay, and then let's cap off this corner with a big uh, commercial anchor store right down in here. So another big five by five. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Okay. All right. Ooh, and, and what about this little area down here? We could drop in some smaller offices right down along the, uh, kind of like along the, um, this couplet road here. Let's do that. Maybe some three by threes. I don't know. What's the right configuration? Or can you do a three by four? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do three by fours kind of making their way down along here. And then since we're getting a little bit tucked in here, two by two, a two by three in the corner. All right, there you go. There, now it's gonna to start to fill in nicely and, and we've got a lot of cool things that we can do in this space here. Let's just finish off this little office down here, two by six, two by six, and that'll fill back in as we, um, you know, as we continue to make, make our way along. Uh, as we move through forward through time but now we've got i think all of the major areas accounted for oh a little cute little office park down in here these row homes are going to start to level up and not row homes but uh you know medium density homes are going to start to level up and look really sharp the rows on the on the right on fawn street here are going to have a cool view looking across there that's just beautiful and elegant and again this is what i'm hoping this is going to morph into Ooh, yeah this is going to really this is going to really shape up It'll be pretty cool. All right. Well, this feels like a great place for us to jump in and do our beautification time lapse. And uh, I've got a lot of work to do. I want to come down in here and do just a little custom park down here in this notch. Uh, just like a beautiful, maybe a compliment to what's going on over there. And then um, we want to create a plaza, if you will, around this skyscraper that's soon to be. Uh, I can't wait for that to fill in. Uh, I think we can make, make a nice, beautiful walking alley in behind these buildings here and maybe another green space in here. In fact, maybe I'll put in another you know, building in here. We'll just kind of see how it looks. If it starts looking kind of vacant, then I'll drop in some additional densification right there. Maybe run down along here uh, and, and maybe even in here. We'll, we'll just see how that shakes out. Um, I do want it to fill in, but I don't want it to be super crowded either. And then I think we've got room for some, maybe some more offices in here as those spawn in. Uh, and then this area, I'd like to th kind of thicken it up, make it lush and green. So it's reflective of what's going on here. Again, so as you're looking out of the, the government building, we don't have any skyscrapers or anything like that. It just has a nice, um, you know, organic, lush look and feel as you're looking over to downtown. That's quite a view, isn't it? All right. Well, why don't you guys just sit back, relax, enjoy the time lapse, and we'll catch you here afterwards where we can recap our sculpture.
All right, welcome back, and I give you Island View Park. Island View Park, and this is our nice little specialty build in this area today, where we built out a multi-mixed-use neighborhood. Yeah, and, and it's not a real big you know build out here, but there's a lot going on. It's a lot of variety in here, and I love the location of it sitting between the South Pass Isle and then also our government building sitting up on that ridge. All right, well, let's dive on in. There's a lot to unpack here. I want to start off by taking a look at this little park down here. I put a little sandy beach down there, and a little park with some benches down in here, and a nice little, a little privacy wall here from the main busy couplet there, trying to keep some of the noise down. I added this little pedestrian road that kind of cuts across here as well, because I thought it would be nice to have pedestrian access making your way across the canal. Now, if you'd look down in here deep, I've got this little food stand in here with a fountain and a couple of tables, and it's just a you know a nice little textured surface down there. Just a little nook, a little hideaway, if you will, for people to come and dip their toes in the water if they want. All right, let's continue along our canal here, and we've got our big waterfront walkway here, the pedestrian road that makes its way down along the waterfront. I started off with some gardens down in this area, and then work our way into some commercial buildings down in here. There's a variety of different little shops and stores here. And then tucked in behind it, I've got a little bit of, you know, a little bit of uh, relaxation space out here with a couple of food vendors, if you will, and a couple of picnic tables. Now, continuing in our journey, we've got our mixed-use buildings that are right along the waterfront. And as those level up, I think they're going to be pretty spectacular. Hopefully, they're going to look something like these ones across the way that are super elegant. So, uh, more to come on that. But I just love the way that this is going to be uh, creating this nice canal waterfront uh, effect. Speaking of waterfront, we've got this European Union style row homes that are right down in here, and that'll add a touch of elegance as you enter into this canal coming in from Pangasus Bay in general. So there's our waterfront area. Now tucked in behind it, I've got this nice little elegant walking park. We've got some curvy sidewalks in here and some trees and plantings and, you know, just ways for the, for the pedestrians to kind of get around in the city in here. And, and I just like the way that that softens the space ever so slightly. Put in a little privacy wall back there. And then I've got this medium density uh, North American style building here that's tall, but not too overpowering in the space. Behind here, we've got the little garage, the parking garage that sits down here, the underground garage. And I threaded in a couple of bus stops, one here and one here, where I'm tapping into two additional bus lines that are making their way through the area. And so now we've got good bus access in this space as well. Now, this big skyscraper is a nice iconic piece here, and I wanted it there to be a complement to the one that's over here on South Pass Isle. But you can see I also put in a nice little plaza space in here, kind of adjacent to it, with a privacy wall again and some beautiful plantings that are kind of making their way along here. And then tucked in there, you can see some lush green, you know, plants and trees and flowers and so forth. And it's just a nice place for the residents of this tall tower to come out and relax. We've got some more North American style row homes that are making their way down along here, adjacent to the parking lot. And then, of course, this retaining wall by our busy, busy couplet road. And as we continue our journey, we've got some low density office space that kind of makes its way right down along here. Again, right along this busy couplet road here, but I think it's a nice little barrier with some additional offices across the way. We've got a European style high density tower here and then another one over here, but it's a smaller footprint. And then also tucked in behind this one, one, two, three, four, also four high density buildings. But again, since they're smaller footprints, I don't envision them getting too tall. But lots of office in this space, lots of residential in this space. And then we've got some parking here. And then of course we had that little cul-de-sac, if you will, of offices here that you know does, doesn't get into the line of sight, if you will, from our government building. And I think it's just a nice, neat little decorative element down in this funny shaped space down in here. We've got some additional commercial buildings here. And uh, if you can take a look here. I created some nice throughput here, if you will. Just ability to, to get through with sidewalks and so forth all throughout lush green vegetation. Now, as I dive out to the main road here, this big busy street here, you've got these medium density homes that are sitting in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, a bunch of them. They're in that European style. And again, as those level up, uh, they'll probably gain some elegance, and I think it'll be a nice showpiece, maybe a, a welcome invite into the Island View Park area. And then dot behind it, we've got our top five design element. Yeah, this is this is what I'm calling Galley Alley. And the reason I'm calling it Galley Alley is because it's all these little food vendors that are set up down along here, the galley, like the kitchen. So I'll jump down in here, and you can see we put in this nice pedestrian road that seems to be getting a lot of foot traffic up and down it right now. And then I dotted in one, two, I think it's three, four, five, 
six, seven or so food vendors down here with some benches, with some, you know, some nice planters down here and some fountains. But also you can see there are some gathering tables. So little coffee tables and and uh, lunch tables and so forth. It's an excellent place to come and meet your neighbor, hang out, have a bite to eat, and just be a part of this really great neighborhood here, which is Island View Park. All right, well, that's gonna wrap up today's episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as I enjoyed making it. This one was a lot of fun, I enjoy it. And it was kind of a, a funny little shaped space down here. Not real big. But there's a lot going on and, and it allowed us to demonstrate a whole variety of little building techniques going on in there. Now, just as a reminder, this channel is nothing without you guys, the wonderful viewers. And so if you saw something that you like today, be sure to leave us a comment below. Really do appreciate it. Love to hear from you. And also the engagement really helps with the algorithm to distribute our content to a much wider audience, which helps us grow and helps us keep improving. Also, a big shout out to all of our members, both here and on our Patreon site. Your generosity is much appreciated. Also, while you're at it, make sure to chip away at that like button and hammer that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the happenings, both here in Pangasus Bay and our Grand Vanillica series as well. Okay, well, with all that, I'm going to bid you a fond farewell. And until next time, good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs>